Good afternoon, traders. It is Wednesday, August 18th, 2021, and the U.S. stock market is closed. Uh, we had a kind of bad day today. Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing here. I have a cat in my lap that is upset because I'm not paying attention to her. So if my camera shakes, blame it on the cat. Um, anyway, she's trying to cheer me up. It was a lousy day today again. You know, I had high hopes yesterday, but we went to negative numbers uh, again as usual. Although there are some differences, and I'll talk a little bit about those. We had um, seven positions coming in to today, and we closed those out with positive $850. Um, no great riches there. We had, and, and you're looking at the Dow here, and you can see the Dow had a big down day, actually, um, down 383 points, and it may have been briefly positive for maybe 30 to 45 minutes, but very modestly positive, and the whole rest of the day was negative. In spite of all that, we got into 14 positions. That's also driving me crazy. We're getting into a lot of positions, and only two of those are positive. Twelve were negative, and were negative uh, just over $5,000 going into tomorrow. Now, that's um, not... That's not too bad, but with 14 positions, you know, things start going south uh, pretty hard. That $5,000 negative could easily turn into $20,000, $25,000 negative really quickly. So um, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about those 14 positions when... Only two of them are positive. The only thing I can say about the... Okay, and then the other thing I just want to say about the Dow. The Dow kind of changes pattern a little today. This is the second down day in a row. Usually it goes down one day, up the next, down one day, ne up the next. And this is the second uh, pretty hard down day. Uh, with, with what's going on in the country... Uh, particularly with Afghanistan and, and all that, I can't imagine there's absolutely any reason for optimism at all with the economy and the country. Uh, but I've been, you know, I've been saying this since last November, and the, the Dow has just keeps going up and up and up. So I don't know, as I say, I don't know what's going on with the Dow, but... Um, if it crashed tomorrow, it would be absolutely no surprise to me, at least. And uh, I think there are a lot of people would not find it surprising either. But we'll just have to see. It'll probably go up. You know, it'll probably go up. We'll have to see. Anyway, the difference between what's been happening the last two, three days uh, is that we're getting... Um, some good trades mixed in with our overall losers. What's hurting us is, as I said, I think yesterday or the day before or both days, is that most of our trades are losers. We're, we're getting a loss rate of around 80% or something, when our normal loss rate would be around 40 to 45%. So we're double the loss rate, and that's one of the reasons that we're having negative numbers in spite of having some good trades. Um, it's hopefully just a temporary thing, but again, it's just we're not making any headway lately, as you know, if you're watching my videos. Let me show you three of our stocks, all of which um, 
have positive numbers, although some are frustrating. This first one is uh, ALF, which is uh, Elfi uh, Incorporated, and we had bought this yesterday about three hours in, closed very positively on almost on its high yesterday. It pulled back some today, and so, uh, but we still took um, $9,000 out of Elfie Incorporated. What was frustrating about this wasn't the pullback, because that pullback, that's fairly normal, but the, the thing... Uh, leveled off after we got off, uh, and then the last 90 minutes, it takes off. And this may not look like a whole lot here that it moved topside, but in fact, I did I did the math on this, and had we somehow known to wait until the close, and I know that's not our system, but I'm just saying hypothetically, if we had sold this on the close rather than where we sell, sold it here, Rather than have nine thousand, we would have had eighteen thousand, double the amount of profit. So uh, I'm not saying we change the system. I'm just saying this is uh, just one more little point of frustration recently with these stocks. Show you another one here. This is RSLS which is reshape life savings life I'm sorry reshape life science incorporated and uh, that is RSLS we bought this yesterday about midday on a pop it basically closed right about where we bought it but then it really moved up hard this morning and right here on top this thing's up about eleven thousand uh, dollars. It pulled back, and where we got out there, we got out with six thousand. So yeah, this wasn't a terrible pullback, but yeah, it was it was significant. It was about five thousand dollar pullback there uh, from from the highs uh, right after the open this morning, and that is a stop out. By the way, that's not our normal exit point. We just got stopped out because it was pulled back, and we saw five thousand dollars go up in smoke in reshape life science incorporated and then finally, this is the best trade of the day, and this is so far uh still a bona fide outlier uh this is s g S-G-O-C, and that is, this is hard, that's S-G-O-C-O Group LTD. That's the name of the company, S-G-O-C-O Group LTD. Okay, we bought this on the pop this morning, and uh, we bought 9,000 shares of this, a big pile of this stuff. And when it gets up here on the very top, it's up $22,000. And then I just about lost it this morning uh, when I kept looking at this. This thing slides all the way back. It actually goes negative down here. It goes from positive $22,000 to negative uh, maybe $1,000 or so there. But then it comes back toward the end of the day, and we're actually finishing there with positive $13,800. So it, it it still looks good, you know. It still looks good. It's still an outlier, but we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. It's down a little in the aftermarket, but with wild swings like this, that doesn't mean anything. What's going to more important is how it opens up tomorrow morning and I you know it'd be nice if it could open higher than this high that would be fantastic but you know it could open negative to it's just 
a crazy game we're paying, playing lately. But anyway, it still was our best trade of the day with $13,800 in open trade profit in SGOCO Group LTD. Anyway, that's the way it went on another crazy day in the stock market. Trader Bob signing off. See you tomorrow on Thursday.